Uh, at this time, we have Washington on the dais, starting with head coach Heather Tarr, uh, student athlete Sis Bates, uh, student athlete Kristen Thomas, and student athlete Taryn Avello. Uh, coach, we'll start with general comments about the game, then we're going to open it up for questions. Um, just another tough game by our team. Just super proud of our ability to just stay in the moment and do what we do, um, pitch well, play our butts off on defense, and find a way to score a couple runs. Um, big key that we scored first. Um, Sis is RBI there. We tried to push another run across. Allie kind of got to me before I knew she was there, but it was the right decision to try to score there with one out uh, when Allie got thrown out at the plate. Um, but another another big thing on defense was our ability to shut down their run game. Throwing out two of their runners in one inning was huge. Um, bottom of seventh infield defense was clutch for us, for Taryn. Um, you know, unfortunately, a couple runners got on, um, one with that double and then another one with a hit by pitch. But the defense had her back. And I'm just really proud of our team. Um, it's tough to win that first game, tough to play in this environment for a bunch of kids that haven't done it before. but. Um, have only dreamed about it their whole lives, but now it's not a dream, it's reality, and we're ready for the next game. All right, we'll open up for questions. Graham. Coach Graham Hayes, ESB and W. What, what was the, the learning curve for Taryn to go from 150 innings last year as a freshman to now 240 and counting and being here on this sort of stage? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Um, well, Taryn's a pitcher that has like special stuff inside of her, and it's just a matter of time that um, she's she needs to figure out how to apply it to this game and how to adjust to the game. But in terms of her freshman year, freshman year was a, a good year. Um, definitely a learning year. Is trying to figure out, you know, how to throw strikes when she needs to and how to not when she doesn't need to. But um, really, it's a matter of being in shape mentally, physically, working on your mental game. Um, but she's put the work in, and now she's able to kind of really take off with it and really work the process, but you know, have the stuff to be able to stay pitch to pitch. Mayor Nangus, Fast Pitch News. Um, sis, that last inning you were involved in a couple of huge defensive plays. Um, talk about the difficulty, I mean, hanging onto the ball on a play like that and then making the diving, cat, diving stop. Yeah. Um, our team is really big on like three outs only, so only giving them three outs. Um, we like really take pride in that, and um, we just like work together as a team and like um, like up the middle, like um, working with Allie and talking to her pitch by pitch, just talking to each other and keeping each other grounded and in the game. John McKelvey, Norman Transcript. I wanted to talk to Taryn. Uh, How did you handle your emotions in that seventh inning? Because you have that confrontation with Lily, and then they have that high slide in the short. W what was that like trying to manage that while you're trying to close out a World Series game? Yeah, I mean, um, I think at any point in this season, emotions are high um, for both teams. And it was really big for me to look at my teammates. And, um, like, I know Allie, she, like, looked at me at one point, and she's like, you got this, I got you, like, let's do it. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And... I was able to kind of just take a deep breath and execute what I needed to after those first few <laughs> pitches. The um, inning kind of got away from me, but I was able to kind of bring it back in and do what I needed to do for my teammates. <clears throat> Mr. Taryn, uh, how, how were you trying to pitch Jenna? And uh, As somebody who, who you know pretty well, were you surprised by her, her, her reaction? Um, you know, she's a great hitter. And she's going to battle no matter what. So I just had to um, try to just – I was just trying to throw it around the um, – like around the zone and do what I needed to do. A um, few got away from me, and, you know, that happens. But no hard feelings. I feel like just part of the game, you got to move on from it. Uh, Derek Peterson, Seattle Times. Taryn, in the last couple innings, you had um, – couple situations where they had people on base that could potentially score and you were able to consistently work your way out of that. Can you just talk about your mindset in those situations? Yeah, we, we kind of have the saying, like, so what, next pitch. And so, yeah, there's runners on, runners in scoring position, but all that matters is that moment and that pitch that I'm about to throw. So if I know if I can execute the next one, then those runners aren't going to pose a threat to our team if we can just execute in the moment. Are there any other questions? If not, Washington plays tomorrow at 2.30 p.m., the winner of the Baylor-Oklahoma game. Coach, ladies, again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Genius softball.
softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham! You just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv. 